Welcome to my channel researchers and in today's video I will share with you my experience of writing and getting my paper published based on completely review. So I would like to share first of all that this is the first paper from my thesis and the review paper is easier to write first because it is only concerned with secondary data right. So if you are doing your PhD, you should focus on writing firstly the review of literature paper and get it published because it does not need the primary data because firstly you have to plan for your primary data and then you have to collect and then analyze and then finally write your paper. Whereas for review paper, you can simply jot down various resources of secondary data, various published papers or newspapers or other uh, from other sources and then write a review paper, right? So let's get started So over here you can see the title of my paper says financial literacy of entrepreneurs a systematic review So the title of the paper should be self-explanatory That means by seeing the title I can see that my variable is financial literacy and what type of review I've done done is a systematic review, right? So uh, I sent this paper to managerial finance that is of Emerald and that is indexed in Scopus, ESCI and is also ranked by ABDC, right? So this is a good journal in my area. I sent my paper on 15th of June and this got re revised on 14th November and finally got accepted on 22nd of December. So going further, we see this abstract, I've written the abstract in a systematic way, okay? That means I've divided my abstract into purpose, design, findings, research, implications, originality, keywords, and the type of the paper. Now, this is a requirement for every enrolled paper. So you have to see what is the requirement for writing the abstract, whether it is systematic or unsystematic. Now, here you guys can see the originality or the value of the paper, right? So originality of the paper is what? It's a beauty of every paper that brings out the novelty. Every editor or reviewer looks for the novelty in the paper. What is new in this study? What you are going to answer, right? So try to write originality in such a way that it catches the attention of your ed editor and reviewers. Going further, I've written the introduction part, right? I've described about the financial literacy. Now here you can see that. I've described the variable that is financial literacy. What I have done is I've started from the very beginning the, about the definition of uh, the first definition about the financial literacy. And then I've given everything about the financial literacy, basically meaning, definition, implications, etc. Right? Another thing is like if you go to the title of my paper that is financial literacy of the entrepreneurs, right? The entrepreneurs are of MSMEs. So the th second thing that I'm going to discuss in this paper is about the MSMEs that is micro, small and medium enterprises. So over here you can see. Over here I've given the importance and I've also given the latest data pertaining to MSMEs. Please note down that guys in the introduction part try to give as much latest information or the facts as possible. Latest facts and figures should be given in the introduction part. Right. And I've used various figures. This is also uh, this makes your paper impressive. You can see various figures that I have used. I've used uh, the authentic data from world bank right kpmg reports so you should also try to inculcate various reports and that are authentic that gives you authentic facts and figure now here comes the methodology part you know for every paper methodology plays a significant role whosoever reads your paper is going to definitely read methodology like how you have gone through the entire study what all you've done through the entire study since this is the literature review paper the secondary sources various secondary sources needs to be mentioned i have myself used various reports say from ministry of msmes oecd reserve bank of india ugc 
so on and so forth apart from this i've also used the databases such as science direct scopus web of sciences so whatever secondary sources you use you should mention in your methodology part then going further you should give the a uh, various searches that is keywords for the searches for my study same financial literacy of the entrepreneurs right financial literacy of msme owners because msme owners are what entrepreneurs themselves right then i have taken financial literacy and the financial excess of msmes financial literacy and performance of small enterprises so on and so forth so you have to see according to your studies which all keywords should be there to include to be there to be included in your study then what have i done is i've made a protocol right how have i selected my study i've studied i've taken various sources see guys i've taken various databases like science direct scopus web of sciences i've already discussed right i've taken various uh sources and then from that databases the number of papers that came out to be 3 358 right then going further there were duplicate studies for example there is one paper say my paper my paper is indexed in esci my paper is also indexed in scopus my paper is also ranked by abdc so to remove this duplication i select only one source that is scopus right and from the other sources i delete the number so i delete the duplicate studies that were uh, that were based on various databases then additional studies that means through books newspaper articles and any other sources i've also taken those okay and then what do i do from this study that is 279 plus additional studies that is 25 my total studies comprised of 304 then what did i do i use the selection criteria that means inclusion and exclusion criteria the selection criteria is inclusion and exclusion criteria for every systematic review you have to decide the inclusion and exclusion criteria right so the final study that were there in my paper is 67 how did i use this exclusion and inclusion criteria i will discuss with you guys okay i'm just coming to that before that here is a literature review i've started off with the literature review i've started doing the financial literacy of the entrepreneurs what did i do i chose certain years now here is the inclusion and exclusion part what did i do i included all the studies from 2000 and 9 to 21 whereas i excluded studies beyond 2009 and 21 right apart from that what have i included is the financial literacy of small entrepreneurs among the entrepreneurs of msmes and financial literacy of small entrep- um, small owners financial management skills of the entrepreneurs simultaneously i have excluded the financial literacy of large organization financial literacy among managers and chief executive officers now if i come over here is the number of papers right from i told you that i have included all the papers from 2009 and to 2021 so what do i see i have bifurcated year wise how many number of papers i have taken into my study so this is the this part is optional okay if you want to give you can if you don't want to give then don't so then i started reviewing about the financial literacy from the very beginning that is from 2009 to 2021 all the papers have been taken and the story form of the paper has been made then what did i do is i have included one more thing that is measurement of financial literacy of entrepreneurs this means various methodologies used by various authors right so we are going to see this further also over here you guys can see what did i do to measure the method, uh, methods or the parameters used by various authors i took the author's name then various dimensions i've taken right what all factors they have taken the parameters taken then we have the various types of methodologies used by various authors 
last but not the least have taken various countries where the studies have taken place okay so just going through by this i can see that there are very few number of studies that have taken place in india right there's only one study then over here you guys can see that i have also linked financial literacy with the financial access of msmes this is because this is one of the crucial parameters for msmes right financial literacy of entrepreneur is directly linked to the financial access of msmes that is why i have also reviewed such papers going further we can see that uh over here we can see that i have taken financial literacy of the entrepreneurs and measured it with the performance of msmes right i have also done the review of this and finally over here and finally over here what i have done is i have taken i have made propositions based on hypothesized research model over here what did i do from all the researches or review of literature i have tried to make propositions i hope you guys know what is hypothesis right hypothesis is something that i am going to test in this paper but proposition is what the assumptions that i am giving to you that can be empirically tested by you people in the next paper this statement says that first proposition is financial literacy of entrepreneurs have a positive impact of financial access and performance of msmes proposition 2 says financial literacy of entrepreneurs moderates the relationship between financial access and performance of msmes and proposition 3 says that financial literacy of entrepreneurs mediates the relationship between financial access and performance of msmes right based on these based propositions what have i done is i have tried to make the hypothesized research model over here i can see the first proposition was that financial literacy of entrepreneurs has a positive impact on financial access and performance so this is a proposition 1 right my second proposition was that financial literacy of the entrepreneurs it moderates the relationship between financial access and performance so this is proposition 2 and proposition 3 said that financial literacy of the entrepreneurs mediates the role say from financial literacy there will be a better access and from the better financial access it will be the better performance now here both of these will lead to the high economic growth right then what did i do is i jotted down various parameters based on the financial literacy so this is a part of the methodology various methodologies used by the various authors across the globe i have tried to summarize this then i have given one of the suggestive model how the financial literacy can be improved this is the recommended training framework module of the entrepreneurs so over here guys you can see that i have given some concrete suggestion right that can be implemented itself so this is a concrete suggestion and it is very catchy for an editor or a reviewer that there is something new in your study then at last the implication of the study you know why your study is important for whom it is important and how it will be used then last as comes is your scope of the future research right over here you give the limitations and for the future then comes your references and at the end i've given the author's bio so that is it for today guys i hope you have liked my video and learned to write the systematic review in the next coming videos i will share with you how to write or the methodology is used in the systematic review right thank you and have a nice day